in the car on the way back from the Grand Canyon with Raymond. Hi, Raymond. I have a story for you guys. Normally, I go up to the Grand Canyon and I stay there for a night and then I get up super early and do my hike. But this time, we left the valley on Friday morning and got up to the Grand Canyon on Friday afternoon and got out of the car and started hiking. <laughs> and it was, it was pretty awesome. But we hiked, you know, a long ways and it was dark by the time we got out. We get in the car and we have to drive a ways to get to um, the place where we were both staying um, because it was in a different town. And we're driving along, it's nighttime, and like pitch black in the darkness in between towns. And we're kind of coming up over a crest, you know, a little bit of a hill in the road. And I'm looking down because I was eating red vines. Luckily, Raymond was paying attention because he starts to swerve and I look up and there is a huge elk standing across the middle of the road, sideways, looking at us. Like it could have been a statue and it looked like it was like from a movie. It was, it was ridiculous. He's staring at us with his, you know, all I could see is like his big reflective eyes and he's like right in front of us. And Raymond, without missing a beat, swerves to the right and then back into the road, does not hit the elk, does not even touch the elk. And I don't know how he did it, but he didn't even like, I don't even understand like how he stayed on the road because there was only so much shoulder on the side and the elk was like, literally stretching across the lane because he was huge. It was the largest elk I've ever seen. And I'm not gonna lie, guys, I screamed like a little girl. I did. I was like, ah! <laughs> when I realized what was happening. What did you think, Raymond? It was damn scary. <laughs> it was. It was really scary. And uh, we were like, we were like silent for like 20 minutes afterwards and we get to um, Bedrock, which is, you know, the, the place in between where we were going. And we pull into the gas station and just like look at each other like, I don't know where the last 10, 20 minutes went, but like we were silent the whole time. He got out and checked his car and like, it was fine. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. Raymond is a rock star when it comes to driving. That's his hidden talent that I didn't know about. And uh, did you know that you, was that like a hidden talent for you? Did you already know that you were a rock star? I still don't know what happened. <laughs> anyway, it was impressive. And I was really glad that I wasn't driving my car because we probably would have like rolled over on the side of the road. Luckily we're in this little sporty car. We are headed back home to Phoenix and um, I'm a little bit disappointed because the weather is, oh my gosh, so beautiful right now in Northern Arizona, but I am glad to get home to see my cats. So that's it. I'll talk to you guys later.